PodShare is affordable shared housing that we build across Los Angeles and here in San Francisco is our first site. The idea is membership-based housing, so if you book a pod, you can stay across the whole network of locations. I was born in the USSR in 1985. My whole concept was like the idea of the government giving you everything in a communist state. What if you could subscribe to a housing membership and have all your needs met? In the fridge, there should just be like cereal, ramen, you know, collegiate foods, and there should be, always be toothpaste and toilet paper and just these basic things that you just need to live, like they should just be handled for you. And that's kind of the concept of PodShare. You just share pods across a network with people that become your friends. <laughs> This location has two bathrooms, and this one's currently being used. <laughs> so I won't show you the bathroom, but I will show you the pods. In each pod, you can see here, there's obviously a mattress, pillows, linens, your essentials. This is my pod right here. As most people know, like housing in San Francisco is chaos. I founded a company called Flipmass. We do Instagram influencer advertising. Our business does pretty well. I actually pay myself really conservatively. I earn about $3,000 per month. I tried living in San Francisco on that budget. I was able to do it, but it was really, really hard. The model is really for myself, which is solo, single, no children, no pets. You know, like I'm really just building something I want to live in. As a software engineer, I can definitely afford this place. I can have savings as well. And at the same time, I am getting all the value that the city holds. When people think of go living, they might get like taken back a little you know, in the sense that it might be not as much privacy in comparison to if they own a home, but I'm just a bachelor, I'm a newly grad. Those things really don't matter at the moment. So the hardest thing about living in a place like this is that you give up your privacy. That's something that you do have to get used to once you start. By the way, come on through. Oh yeah, yeah, go through. Last nice time. <laughs> not a problem. But then you find ways to reclaim your privacy. Fortunately, in this location, it's four floors and there are plenty of places to hang out. There are certain things you have to give up when you want to live in the center and, and pay no security deposit, and that's privacy here. I think what people get wrong about PodShare is that the pod is all they have and that they don't have access to like amenities. I've actually had people mock me for this type of living arrangement. I think many people might think that it, I don't know, is it dystopian to like group a bunch of people into one living space? But I think it's one of those don't knock it till you try it type of things. I think if prices become more affordable, pot share will die and that's okay. Because I think it's here to solve a problem and um, if the rents ever became normalized, then, then I don't know if a pot share would be necessary because everyone would just get their own private place. And that's okay. <laughs>